Thanks for coming to SaberTV.com. Good evening. My name is Kevin Hurd from SaberTV.com. Today is Monday, November 6, 2006, and it's about two days after the Sartell Sabres took on the Cardinals of Alexandria at the Fargo Dome in playoff game number three. Now, tonight we're going to be recapping that game for you. We do not have any music accompanying us in the background tonight because this will be a play-by-play of that game when the Sartell Sabres did defeat the Cardinals of Alexandria 10-7, to like we said. So without further ado, let's go back to Friday night, November 3rd, to the Fargo Dome and take a look at some of those highlights. Game time at the Fargo Dome for the Sabres was at 8 p.m. And soon after, we got underway into our first quarter. Now watch the referee in this play as he gets knocked over. I haven't seen that yet this season, but I guess there's a first time for everything. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at that play one more time in slow motion. Take a look. You can clearly see that we have a Cardinal and a Sabre colliding. That creates enough momentum to put the referee on the ground. Poor ref but it did make for some interesting time at the Fargo Dome. Let's take a score update. The Alexandria Cardinals were able to score seven during the first quarter. The Sartell Sabres scored their first touchdown in the second quarter. Let's go ahead right now, take a look at this next play. We have Michael Carlson, number six. Look at this run that he has. Tackled by Alexandria, but nonetheless a good run. Carlson is the quarterback for the Sartell Sabres. Now watching this next play as Carlson throws a pass to number 22, Shane Nyes. It is incomplete, but nonetheless, you can't say that certainly was a good pass. Like I mentioned earlier, the Sartell Sabres scored their first touchdown in the second quarter. Here's number 44, Dan Wyrock, running. He's actually just one yard short of the touchdown line. We now turn our heads to Luke Sweeter. Watch this play. Here's Sweeter crossing that touchdown line. Just one yard to go. Hesitant for that victory celebration, but nonetheless, one yard to go. Sweeter makes the touchdown. That makes our score 7-7 right now in the second quarter. Both teams are tied. Now this next clip we're going to take a look at is actually one of my personal favorites from the game, and I'm sure lots of fans who attended would agree. Pay close attention. We start off here. Number three of the Cardinals. He throws it to number five. But we see Nick Steve come in out of nowhere. Number 81. He's going to return that football back to the Sabres. Taking it away from the Cardinals. The Sabres now have possession of the ball. Let's actually go ahead and take a look at that clip one more time in slow motion. And taking a look back at that play. We can barely see the throw by number three. But look at that. Touches the hand. Bounces. But he does catch it. That's an interception by number 81, Nick Steve. The Cardinals are stunned, and the score is 7-7 right now at this point in the game. So can you really top a play like that one? It's going to be tough, but take a look at this. Carlson making a gain for the Sabres. Look at that run. He is tackled by Alexandria, but nonetheless a gain for the Sabres as they continue possession of the ball. Here's another favorite play of mine. Alexandria just at the tip of their touchdown line. Sartell does take the ball away from Alexandria, though, and that shakes up the game. One last great play on this podcast. Here's Luke Sweeter, number 30. He's going to veer left, eventually tackled by Alexandria, but did create some excitement from fans in a crucial part of the game. Friday's game against Alexandria did go into overtime, and it wasn't until Sartell got possession of the ball that Nick Klinkhammer was able to score a 28-yard field goal to bring the Sabres to a 10-7 victory over the Cardinals. The Sartell Sabres are now 10-1 overall after their defeat against Alexandria. They will be taking to the field this Friday for their next playoff game against New Prague, who is 9-2. And that game is expected to start at 7 p.m. And of course, Sabre TV will have full coverage both on TV and online at sabertv.com. And don't forget, you can also check out our audio podcast, which is also available at our website. Thanks for coming to sabertv.com. I'm Kevin Hurd, and we'll see you back here again soon for Friday's football game.